Hi, I'm Cam from Auto Trader, and today we're testing out the 2018 Skoda Korak. This is the second SUV for Skoda, following on from the Kodiak coming out in 2017, and it'll be really cool to see how this one performs. So looking around the Korak, we can see it's got some really ultra-modern styling and fits in with the rest of their market. The design architecture is based on the crystalline pattern, which is actually their logo. So if we come down here, we see the 19-inch alloys, which are optional but look really cool. Moving around the uh, Korak, we notice that it's a bit shorter in length than the Kodiak which came before it, and the wheelbase is also shortened. It does give it some really good maneuverability for moving in town. One of the other cool features about the Korak is the automatic boot opening. The Korak has a massive back seat and rear boot, which can be extended even further by folding down the seats. This particular model has the Vario Flex setting, which also allows you to actually remove the seats entirely. So once they're folded up like this, you simply flick a switch down here and you, the seats can be pulled out. Hopping into the rear seat in the crack, it's a surprisingly spacious area, even for a fully grown adult. It's fully leather clad, spacious and with the panoramic sunroof it's really light and airy. Hopping into the front of the Korak and it's a really great place to be. This model has the plus package which comes with the squared off sports steering wheel and the paddle shifters. We've got some traditional dials here for the speedo and rev counter and then we've got this really high definition touch screens for basically every function that you could want inside the vehicle. So when we look at the menu we have the option to use uh, Apple CarPlay, Android CarPlay, navigation, telephone, and virtually control anything about the vehicle that we want. So despite the fact that the Korak is an SUV with a fairly modest size engine, it does actually give you the ability to choose between a few different driving modes, including Eco, Normal, and Sport. The particular model that we're testing today has come fitted with the panoramic sunroof, which is a really nice feature and really opens up the car for light and also for uh, ventilation. So getting ready to take off in the Skoda Karak, we have the DSG gearbox, which is familiar across the Volkswagen Audi group. And when we move it down into drive, we've got the option of pulling it down into sport mode as well. As with uh, a lot of these different uh, new SUVs, obviously we've got a nice high uh, driving position, which gives us a lot of visibility and also a really large windscreen as well. Um, being that this is the diesel model, we do have um, a good amount of torque down low, which makes for city driving you know, really easy. It doesn't have to stress, it's, um, it's a very easy car to drive. The turning circle on the Karak is actually really impressive um, and better than a lot of small cars that I've been in, so um, yeah, kudos to Skoda for that one. Um, if I did have a couple of criticisms for the Karak, and this is just for myself, um, I find that the indicator position is just a little bit hidden by the steering wheel at times, um, which when you get used to it, I'm sure will, won't be a problem. And again, looking in the rear view mirror, the rear window is actually quite small. Um, obviously this is a result of the quite ultra modern design, but it, it can uh, make visibility a little bit uh, trying at times in the rear. Starting at 38,990 for the Petrol Ambition Plus, the Karak provides uh, exceptional value. The model we tested here today is the diesel 4x4 version, so it is a bit more expensive at 48, but it's still really good value. Uh, any model in the range comes with three years or 100,000 kilometer warranty. And for more information, you can find it on autotrader.co.nz.